Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Hypothesis Testing. And yes, my cat for some reason always loves to jump in these videos. And my dad suggested that I actually show her. And so now I have to remove her. She really wants up there. And this video is on monotone likelihood ratio property. <coughs> so the family of distributions, f of x, which is indexed by theta that lives in the parameter space omega, has a monotone likelihood ratio property in the statistic t, which is actually a function of all of our data. Uh, whenever theta 0 and theta 1 lives in the omega, the parameter space with this, in a, this uh, inequality, and the likelihood ratio, this, is an increasing function of t. Then we say that this family has the monotone likelihood ratio property. Now in the next video we're going to give you know six or seven examples on how to show that you know families of distributions have the monotone likelihood ratio property but in this video we're going to try to keep it a little more uh, theoretic. So theorem the one parameter exponential family has a monotone likelihood ratio property and as a reminder this is the general form for an exponential family and I actually have a playlist on exponential family and I find it quite fascinating. There we drive the mean and the variance generically of this uh, one parameter exponential family. So the proof that it has the monotone likelihood ratio property is this. So let's look at the likelihood ratio. That means, you know, this is the family so we plug in theta 1 here and we plug in theta 0 here. Now the H's cancel and then if we take this E up then and then we can break it at the, you know the product of the exponentials and then this one is positive up here which is what this one is and this one e to the minus this log partition comes down that's what this is and then we have the x the rest we can com combine we have the exponential of this now we can factor out a, the t of x which here now notice that this is positive and we have this so and if we think of this as the variable and then we have to look at the coefficient in front of it so if we assume that it's positive this difference is positive then the likelihood ratio is an increasing function in t of x and if it's if this is negative then the likelihood ratio is increasing function in minus t of x and that's the proof that it does have the monotone likelihood ratio property now, another, I wanted to say theorem, but there's no theorem here. So let's let f of x given theta be a family of distributions that have the monotone likelihood ratio property in x. And with um, x0 less than x1 and theta0 less than theta1, these two hold. f of x has a monotone decreasing hazard rates in theta. The Bayesian update for theta, call it g of theta given x, has a monotone likelihood ratio property and is increasing in x. So let's prove these. First, the first one. So let's let, I don't know why I restate that, but I do. So then because f has the monotone likelihood ratio property, it means that this ratio is increasing in x. And since we said x is greater than that, so this has to be bigger. Now if we multiply we get this, then we, oh then we integrate both sides and I am going to do something here. This right here we're not going to use, okay, so I, I didn't mean to leave it and I'll explain that in a second. So we take this inequality and we integrate both sides with respect to d at, or to x1. So we're here and we integrate this from you know d of x1 from x0 to infinity, right? So this piece doesn't have x1, so it can come out front of the you know this integration. And here the same way. So we come down 
there's no X1 here so it comes out and then we're integrating this piece here and I'll explain this in a second so here really that's just the survivor function right plugged in in the same way here that's 1 minus cap F and we plug in X0 and of course it's given theta 1 so we're left with this now if we divide this to that side and take this to this side we're here now notice that we pick the X0 and X1 arbitrarily so we can just call it oh I know dang it so we, we can go from here to here and I'll explain why this is important but let's just go from here to here notice this is X0 is arbitrarily picked so if we divide that to this side and divide this to this side we are in here so look at this, this is the hazard rate, hazard ratio, hazard rate, and this is, so the, it's, it's decreasing in theta, right? Theta is big, uh, smaller, this is bigger, so as we, as theta gets bigger, the hazard rate decreases, and that's what we wanted to show. Now, I, I initially had another one that if, if f of x is, has the monotone likelihood ratio property then we can show that it has first order statistic dominance and that's what this part was and so it was it's the same approach we took this and then we integrated it with respect to x0 and we got these two functions and then this is really just the cumulative the CDF and this is the CDF and then we can divide this down divide it, and we get this but since X1 was picked arbitrarily, we can just call it X, and we came up with this. Then, using this ratio, we come up with this. So, this piece is less than this piece. And then from there, it's a simple uh, thing to show that we have first-order stochastic dominance. I'm going to let you do that as homework. And so, um, because I was running out of paper, I ended up not showing it, but that's this part. So we didn't need it to show that the hazard rates are decreasing in theta. Now, to show that the Bayesian update has a monotone likelihood ratio in uh, and is increasing in X, we have this. So as a reminder, using uh, conditional probability, we can go from here to here, right? Because it's the given the X, and then this is the uh, joint distribution of of theta and x, but then you can rewrite it in this conditional sense. And so this is common for Bayesians to, to know that. So let's look at this ratio. So it's g of theta 0 given x1, g of theta 0 given x0. We can take this and, and, and write it in this form. Right, because this this is actually divided by this and that divided by that. The G's cancel in both of these. But here, since it has the monotone likelihood ratio property, then we get this. Now this can be rewritten, since now we're in theta 1, it can be rewritten as this, as the Bayesian update for theta 1. But this is bigger than that, and we use the monotone likelihood ratio property for this. All right, well, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.